My name is William Zhou. I get my MPH degree from Columbia University and currently work in NYU Langone Medical Center as a data analyst in quality safety and practice innovation. Hi, my name is Chao Shi. I have a PhD degree from Cornell studying computational geoscience and I have worked in Houston as a geophysicist for five years. Hi, my name is Yabing Fan. I have my master's degree in Johns Hopkins University in Information System Engineering. I used to work for Johns Hopkins Hospital as data programmer. Hi, I'm Sam Mullane. I have a PhD in nanoscale science from SUNY Albany. Uh, my most recent role was as an application scientist for a semiconductor manufacturer. Hi, uh, today our presentation is mainly fo focused on our Kaggle competition project. And to start with, we are going to talk about the background knowledge about the data set. Um, our competition is trying to help a Russian bank to make a ho house, uh, house prediction. And our data set consists, consists of three parts, the training data set, the test data set, and also micro data set, which is an um, uh, economic data set. For this competition, we have two goals. One is a near-term goal, which is after two weeks working on it, hopefully we'll arrive at a prediction as accurate as possible. And for this near-term goal, we have a fast-track pipeline, which is doing exploratory data analysis and fast-track machine learning tra model training and prediction in IPython notebook environment. And we have a bigger goal, which is eventually for four of us, we're all hoping to get into a data science career. For this bigger goal, we try to blend in industry-level pipeline building experience using Luigi and also over all of these tasks we were we were practicing agile and lean collaboration strategy. As for the feature engineering part our methodology is pretty straightforward and result driven. We mainly use XGBoost model for our data set training. So at the very beginning we were trying to figure out what what are the importance of all of the features. So to do this we put all of the training data set features into the XGBoost and let the XGBoost model tell us what are the important features. And after that, we got a ranking of feature importance. And uh, after that, we create a iterative procedure uh, to, to see when we training with the top end features uh, where we can get a universally lowest error rate. And based on that, we were able to figure out when we use the top 95 features, we were able to get a lowest error rate. And within that 95 features, we were thinking that there must be a lot of noise in it. So we used greedy search methodology to exclude all those features that is hurting the performance and keeping all those features that is improving the overall performance. So at the very end, we were able to pin down 40 features for modeling. Another very interesting component for this competition is the inclusion of macroeconomic data, which is time series data. So after our fast track effort, we arrive at a reasonable ranking. We decided to do a deep dive into these time series data. And here on this slide, we, be, we, we use one example to demonstrate the general approach, which is starting with feature selection and feature engineering. And then, since it's time series data, we use cross-correlation to choose the, the best time lag or best time shift to use these time domain data to predict uh, housing price. And then lastly, we design a, a set of moving, moving window tests to try to optimize this, uh, uh, this prediction process. An important part of model optimization is hyperparameter tuning. To optimize this process, we built a Luigi pipeline that allows us to collaborate effectively and efficiently. Um, here we see the monitoring overlay uh, that allows us to monitor the process as it's ongoing. Uh, to make it the most user-friendly experience, we built uh, a system with a command line interface so that users could go in and choose whichever model or parameters they wanted. Um, from the command line, they have a model choice, and from the user input.py, they have choice of the parameters that they want to search over. The end result of this is an automated process that produces activity logs and submission files that we could share and collaborate effectively. 
As the end of the project, our prediction got us on public leaderboard top 2%. And also we did ex explanatory data analysis and machine learning pipeline. And we also used use the industry level pipeline prototype with Luigi. And in and, uh, uh, the end of our project, uh, our methodology for data science is agile and lean adaption.